Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're going to uh, take a look at our new Schrade Parang. And as you can see, sit it down here. Has a real nice nylon sheath. Uh, has a shoulder strap and a belt loop. Has nice heavy duty snaps. Get these off here. Nice looking knife. Um, I, the only thing I was disappointed in it with it was I thought that the handle was a soft, uh, more of a rubbery plastic, but it's not. It's a hard plastic, but that's okay though. It's supposed to be a full tang. Uh, looks like it's a solid eighth inch. Um, the, I don't know if I can show you here without cutting my leg off. The blade is <laughs> shaving sharp, which is unusable for a knife like this size, usually. Uh, we're going to give it a try here on the banana trees and see how that works. Oh, here comes the rain. Well, one quick chop here to see how it goes. This isn't a very big banana tree, but it's just a good example. Not too bad. It's got just enough weight. It's not too heavy. I'm going to run in the house real quick. It's starting to rain. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today I'm out here in the yard and uh, my video is kind of a two-fold video. I'm out here to put a new Schrade, Schrade Parang through its paces. came with a real nice nylon sheath and a shoulder strap. And at the same time I'm trying to clear a path here to make a new road for a turnaround for our truck. And I uh, wish I had some help, but I'm here by myself today. And uh, I think I'm mostly going to be doing a little cutting and maybe a little chopping. There's a mango branch over here I have to cut down. We'll see how that goes with the um, parang. Maybe I, I brought up my uh, Baco Laplander saw too. But we'll start out. I've been cutting some bananas here already. And it seems to work real nice. The difference between this and a local uh, bolo or parang is this has an edge on both sides. We're here in the Philippines, it's usually just a one sided chisel edge. Um, I don't know if that's better or worse, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I know this one cuts pretty good. Uh, banana tree really isn't a good example to cut because it's uh, pretty soft, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's odd for your shorts that get stained from the banana. Well, I'm not touching the banana, hun. Murphy's worried about my shorts getting stained. Yes, you have a good shirt. First, the water, my darling. Thank you. I love you. I will cook you. Chat, someone there helping me would be great. I gotta get this down low if I can drive the truck over, so I don't know how I'm gonna do that. It's harder when you get down towards the ground. It's not, they're not harder, it's just harder to get a angle to cut and you just don't want to get yourself in the way of the swing because uh, sometimes it bounces off sometimes it goes right through you don't expect it and uh, this was when I took it out of the package was sharp enough to shave with so it's a nasty rotten one there Let's see how it feels in a, a piece of wood. Pretty good on that. Of course, mango again. Mango is not a good example. It's not a real hardwood. I'll take this one too. Now Shannon got stung by some bees right over here. Big wasps. I'm just hoping they're not in the in this mango tree. I was thinking maybe they were in the ground, but. I don't know. 
just want to be careful when you're using a bowl or a machete though because if you go past what you're cutting at it'll go right and nail you right in the leg. I've got nailed in the shin one time so far. It takes a long time to get good to be able to hit in the same spot. You watch these Filipino guys, they can hit the same spot every time. They've been doing it since they were little kids, I guess. I was just using my new Schrade Parang SCHPR1. And I'm so disappointed. I thought this was going to be such a nice knife. It's supposed to be a full tang with stainless steel. And I mean, can we go to macro? Here we are, right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Two great big, two great big waves in the blade. Probably eighth of an inch or more. Oh, you can see better on that side. Look at that. What a bunch of crap, huh? There's one of the biggest disadvantages to live in the Philippines. I can't just go return this. I can't send it back to Amazon. I can't do anything with it. I bought it from someone in Canada over eBay. And what a crock. Look at that piece of crud. And all I did... was put about six or seven chops into this little stump that I'm trying to clear up out of my driveway here. Didn't touch any of these rocks or anything like that. All I hit was the, the stump. Well, that's so disappointing. Can't really see it very good, but I don't know. What, what a bunch of crap. So I want to apologize for everybody that watched my review of this Parang. I recommended it to people because I thought it was really nice. Uh, it does cut nice through things like banana trees and papaya trees. Uh, I was trying to sharpen a couple like tent stakes of bamboo today and this didn't seem like it was sharpened very good. And it's actually starting to rust too. It's supposed to be stainless steel. Uh, there's another guy in Canada that said he bought two of them because of my review. I, I apologize very much sir. I, I'm going back to my Philippine bolo that I paid three dollars for. <laughs> it's never let me down for a second. And I also noticed today that the handle is very thin. I thought it was pretty nice when I first touched it, but uh, it, it hurt the, my fingers when I was chopping with it. And uh, if I was going to use it anymore, which I will, I'll have to grind this all down now. And I'll have to uh, wrap this with paracord or something like that to make it uh, a little beefier. But uh, I, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm so disappointed in this right now. I'm just so disappointed. Look at that wave in it. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right in the belly of it, too. So I'm going to have to go up. I'm going to take off almost the whole bevel. To make it decent again, and then I'll just I'll just put it in the forge, and of course that'll ruin the plastic handle on it. Reheat it and quench it or something, but I don't know. What a crock! So that's all I have for now. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Uh, this is a total shred failure. A shred parang. S-C-H-P-R-1 Total failure. Blades all warped after hitting a, a little stump.